Okay, I'm pulling a card. I'm not showing my face because I just woke up and yeah, my hair, my face, my, yeah. <laughs> I haven't even had my coffee yet. That's how early I'm, uh, okay. So I just had a dream. The part of my dream that I'm, that's significant. Well, I'm always in water. Like if it's not a big, huge structure that has like shops and schools and everything like inside it. And it always feels very metallic, like a navy ship or something. Um, if it's not that, it's like a little, or it's a little individual pod. And it, it's like, it's always surrounded by water, on water, like there's land too, but um, it always seems where my living quarters is, is like a, mostly, most of the time in my dream, it's water. I'm on water, more surrounded by water. But it makes sense because... Um, So yesterday, so it's the same driver, this girl that, uh, this woman who's, um, probably around my age, maybe a little younger, um, but she's lived in the area only four years. Uh, it'll be two years for me, um, in about a week. And she had one friend, um who she moved away so now she doesn't really have anyone to like you know because she's from Los Angeles and all her family's from there and everything and so it's just you know her her husband her children and they live on this property and um he trains dogs and stuff and come to find out she's um so he got this job offer to do this so like they moved up here away from LA, all this stuff so they could even possibly be twin flames come to find out she's Pisces okay <laughs> Um, and then I'm looking on the little pool, my, my son's little pool that we have this little, like, uh, it's like a little framed pool, little four by four, little one foot deep, cool little pool for him. And I'm sitting there while he's playing in it and I'm reading the side, like the warning label thing and it has six, six, six. And I saw that somewhere else too. I don't know if it was a a piece of paper somewhere, so there was a 666 somewhere, like in a phone number or something. So it's like F2666, okay? So random, so the last three digits are 666. And I look over because it's spelled in, um, it's written in Spanish too as well, the warnings. And I never knew that pool was Piscina. Um, P-I-S-C-I-N-A, I believe it would be feminine, which would make sense, right? Water, pool, the womb, the, okay. So it says piscina, which is, pescado is fish, I know that, and pisci just the way it's spelled, I'm like, Pisces, okay? It says 666 right there. The Pisces, the, the, this female that I'm, you know, beginning to be friends with, she's the driver for my medical appointments, and this is just perfect how God works, right? So, um, and I was telling her about my best friend Pisces right now and a little bit about what's going on with her and how her and her ex are trying to... They could even possibly be twin flames. The real volatile... It's like the extreme opposites. They're both Pisces, but my best friend that I've known since sixth grade, that's a that was a horrendous one. So that's a lot of stuff to get over and heal. And, and then um, it's like the, the perfect, beautiful ray of sunshine end of the spectrum twin flame on the other side, you know, where they are so harmonious and loving. But, um, <clears throat> so this dream, okay, so Pisces was coming in to a lot yesterday. The high, pre the high Priestess card flipped out. Um, that was the first card that flipped out when I was shuffling for the monthly uh, Twin Flame reading. That's the video right before this one, I believe. And then, um... A personal reading that I did for myself it was at the center um, and then the last couple readings I had on the cross part the feminine my side had the king of or uh, I'm, I'm sorry the knight of cups and I did a reading another the same day with the same deck and the knight of cups then was on his side of the crucifix on my twin side and both times on my specific three little cards that are specific to my specific energy, not connected to the crucifix. The hermit showed up both times. 
<laughs> and he's a Virgo, that the Hermit's the Virgo, and okay, so I have a dream, okay, and the part of my dream that I want to share that, about my twin, okay, besides the water part, there's also two little girls that um, they wanted to swim, but they were at the bus stop or something. It was like they crawled into the snail shell, too, and they were, it was weird. It was like a little pouch pod, but it was... Anyway, but I'm like, no. I'm like, you guys know how to get your mom's house, right? You just go right down the street and around the corner. But even though I knew it was a dream, I was like, my logical mind was like, no, just come with me, and we'll come back and go swimming later or whatever. And that could have infiltrated from a soul brother out here that he's been getting drowning synchronicities and stuff. So these were two little young girls. I believe one was blonde and one was brown. But like little twins or something, okay? And it was like they were emerging out of the snail shell, kind of. They wanted swimming, okay, so the water, all this water. Um, you know, that kangaroo medicine with the pouch. So it was like this little shell-like thing that they were like both kind of like coming out of, you know? And they were, we were having this conversation. <laughs> Um, and there was just another, like, guy, a male energy soul that was pure, that was just right there. And I think he kind of telepathically was like, yeah, I shouldn't leave them here. You don't even know me. And I, I kind of got that energy from him. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Just come with me and we'll come back swimming later and blah, blah, blah. Because in real life, I'm paranoid. I got locks on everything. That, I mean, because my child's autistic, so, um... I'm just trying to think if there, before I get to the main part, if there was like other elements that related to the twin flame. Um, well, if they trickle in and that it's like, you know, significant, I'll come back on and share it. But, um, so I'm in this room, the lights on, I'm just sitting on the couch and, and from the doorway, so I'm in there speaking with like a female friend or like co-worker, roommate type of energy, like an acquaintance. It wasn't someone I felt really deep. It was kind of like a, you know, um, not a familiar energy, but a just fine, neutral, feminine energy in the room. And she was saying something like he's here. Uh, there was some kind of like, um, I can't remember what she said, but it was like a, like, he just pulled up kind of uh, saying something to that effect. But it wasn't like, oh, he's here. Oh, he pulled up. It was just like, he's on his way or, or he's going to be here shortly. or Something very business seemed kind of like, you know. And so in walks my twin flame and he's got, like, jeans on. Nice, like, you know, just like a blazer type. Like he would dress if he was going to dress nice. Some nice jeans and blazer. and His beard was... He still had his full beard, but it was real trimmed down to his face. And he just looked like he, you know, put some time into, like, presenting himself to me. And he, he just walked straight in, straight to me. And I'm like, whoa. Like, in my dream, I was like, what? I was so surprised. And I could tell, like, he was on the verge of crying and, um... He just comes right up to me, and I'm like, we just embrace him. I'm like, wow, what are, you, what are you doing here? Why are you here? And he just started bellowing, crying, and just kept saying the word, you, 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 over and over and over. And so now we're sitting on the couch. So we embrace him, and I just, like, it's like we're embracing, but then all of a sudden we're sitting on the couch, and as soon as he starts like opening up his heart like that I can't help but like I get choked up and I want to cry in my dream but I'm so happy that no tears are coming out and I'm I'm aware of this fact in my dream that I'm like so emotional that I'm like I'm talking like this but I'm like I'm crying but I'm like wait no tears are coming out because I, I can't be sad I'm so happy I'm so emotional but it's like there's there was no not a trace of sadness whatever I was just like comforting him, kind of like I know it's been a long, hard road. You're home now. Don't worry. It's all gonna be okay. We're so, and he just kept saying, 
you know, when I was like, why are you here? What are you doing here? It was just like, you, you, like, like, it's always been you. It's only you. And like, just, it was just cries, bellows, and the word you, you, you over and over. So when we we're sitting on the couch, like, I just climbed on him and hugged him and was saying, like, crying, and I love you, you know, I love you so much, I remember just saying, oh my god, I love you so much, and then I, that's when I realized I was, like, crying the words out, but no tears were coming out, because I'm like, I'm just so happy, and I woke up feeling like that, and I didn't even want to share this, but I'm like, I'm so happy, <laughs> I just wanted to, even though it was a dream, but my dreams are very powerful, and so, you know, I wanted to share, and and just share the good high vibe, where, where whatever it comes from, okay, so... A few animals have come up in dreams um, and some insects in real life that I'll be sharing. Um, dog medicine came up in a dream and um, brown recluse. And I will do separate videos for those because those were a dream. And then the few insects that have been coming around lately in my 3D reality... Uh, there's three, I believe. I'll, I'll probably put them all in one and do a little insect totem um, video. So so I wanted to pull um, a card from the Divine Masculine deck just to, you know, I only get dreams when it's, I've told my team, I'm like, higher self, team, all y'all, uh, Unless it's an important message of update with my twin where he's at energetically or whatever, I don't really need to know. <laughs> I'm minding my business, letting him mind his. and So, obviously, um, and I had woken up and gone back to sleep um, several times. And this was the last time. And I'm like, okay, I'm up. I'm not, I'm not going back to sleep. But we're going to leave it on that note. So, um, <clears throat> I just want to take take this deck, shuffle it a little bit, see if we get a card to fall out. If not, I'll pick one. But um, just to see where the Divine Masculine is, confirmation of where he is energetically. Um, I'm just at my kitchen counter. That's my fridge. Do -do 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 -do. My cupboards with my food in it. <laughs> There's food there too. Okay. And juices, mostly lots of distilled water. Um, I feel like he's really finding finding strength in that vulnerability, surrendering to the process. To I'm also gonna pull a card for myself when I'm done here. Probably not on camera. Just confirmation of. Um, my interpretation of the dream and where he's at, my specific twin energetically. Um, so I want to know if he knows. Okay, there we go. The bottom it says, give thanks for what has been given to you, however little, right? Even if it's a little dream where you get to hug and kiss your twin flame and hear the words, I love you, never had that exchange with them ever. Watch yourself. Awaken yourself. Be the awakened dreamer who dreams awake. <laughs> wow. That's the top card. That. Yeah. Maybe that's what we're talking about right here, right now. And give thanks. You know, being grateful. That is very important because, um... That's what keeps us heart centered. Hello. So let's see what fell out here. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. You are the source. That's why I was just like, thanks, higher self, because really all these things. God, the archangels, are, the demons, they're all aspects of the self. That's what this light work is all about. About weaving it together. 
So we can move forward and not be in a tangled mess. You are the source of your own problems. You are the source of your own fortune. So it says mischief is yours. I, that's why I was like, <laughs> as soon as I read that, I thought that was great. Because <laughs> I had this... As a kid, I used to do kind of mischievous things. Like, we'd go have water gun fights in the um, in the malls and, like, go back behind, like, where the security was, where we weren't supposed to be, and, like, have teams and stuff. And then, uh, like, girls against boys or whatever. Like, me and my friend against my boyfriend and her boyfriend or whatever. And then, like, uh, just go play on the big bouncy balls and Toys R Us and go play with the toys all day, and, and but never buy anything and stuff. <laughs> Just be like total little kids. And that's what dog medicine in my dream, what it related to. Um, so mischief is yours. Um, oh, the, the idea was, you know, in, in malls, um, cause I just got this image of this like little person, little, like, uh, like what you see on a restroom placard, those, you know, little bodies, female, male, whatever. It was just. A little black body form with the um, only the heart chakra in the center green lit up so black with the green dot right where the heart is and it says you are here on it and I was gonna <laughs> I was thinking that'd be so great if I could print out a bunch of those as little stickers and go around all the shopping malls um, mall mall m-a-l bad mall shopping mall mall it's not good for you okay <laughs> and I mean to an extent, okay, but a mall that's just like gorging on shopping, it's, it's not good for you. Um, but I was gonna go, I was thinking, okay, I would make those stickers and go stick them on those little, uh, you know, those direction big, um, whatever they're called, they're like, you know, big displays that stand up in the middle of the mall and, or different, a few different areas of the mall if it's a big mall. And just says you are here and shows where all the different stores are and the, the numbers and it's all color coded and whatever. Um, I just thought that'd be great, you know, and it would figure that like I'd probably get arrested for something so innocent and silly. But um, yeah, mischief is yours. Sorrow is yours. Virtue is also yours. You are the source. So they're saying virtue here too. So this, you know, we've been... Moving up to those higher virtues, forgiveness, mercy, compassion, hope, grace, um, you know, understanding. So, you know, those, those love virtues, patience, really, patience, um, timing also has very much to do with praying mantis, so, you know, a, being patient and allowing for things to unfold. Don't you want it to be like how, like how I explained this dream may not come across as what, but the, the emotion, the, the feeling, the everything, I, it was so vivid. It, it's creating a real sensation and emotion and feeling inside me right now. Um, and that's how we want our union to be. We don't want it to be messy. We don't want it to be um, lessons, you know. Um, we want it to just be grabbing each other, crying, saying, I love you. Right? I mean, really, it's simple. So we have to be patient and allow for divine timing if we want it to be divine. Right? So, all right. I'll leave you guys with that. Good morning on Thursday, August 3rd. <laughs> Love you all. Peace and blessings.